We're in Darling Harbour in the International Convention Centre and IBM has turned on a really big show. talk about some of the amazing things that's coming up through the day but I thought I would just grab a couple of quick seconds with you here on camera to show you what's behind me. Have a look. Australia 2018 and I am joined by Tomur Gusberg, is that right? Did that's I get that it. right? Yep, that's right. And you're from Grenade. Correct. So uh, could you just quickly introduce yourself and what Grenade is? Yeah, sure. So I'm Tamer, uh, I'm the founder of Grenade and what we primarily do is we optimize enterprise. We essentially what we try to do is take the robot out of the human. In essence what it is is understanding inefficiencies in our day-to-day -day work life and applying, say, machine learning to those problems and making them go away. I like that. In fact, that's got to be the best thing on a business card I've ever heard. Take the robot out of humans. Um, give us a couple of examples where that exists currently so we've got some context uh, of what that actually is. Yeah, so we work with a uh, Fortune 500 company right now uh, who have a whole bunch of salespeople. There's a, they have a, a very uh, a numerable amount of salespeople. Yep. And uh, when you hire a salesperson, you expect them to sell, right? Sure. But what we do is we, we add extra elements to their work life, so much so that they spend 70% of their time on research and admin. Wow. Right? So the average time that a, uh, a salesperson actually goes out, knocks doors down, uh, I think they call it breaking next cash and checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part is only 30% of their, 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 their time at work. The rest of it is doing admin and research. And so what we try to do is understand why. Why does that, why does that actually happen, right? Yeah. Like why, why, uh, do we, why do we have to do those things that are getting in the way of us actually doing the stuff? And so what we try to do is identify how they do research, pre-sales research. Right. Um, and we, it's very observational, it's still a very human process in terms of understanding what goes through their mind in terms of what information they're trying to understand from yeah. say, various, re various resources that they collected that information from, what type of context they're trying to build from that, okay. and how they're qualifying them in their brain. Yeah, yeah. So I guess um, one of the things I'm really interested in seeing is, is I guess, yeah, once you go through that process of, of looking at how you separate the robotic pieces from the, the what the human does, um, what sort of transition do you see then? I mean, you know, from, a, from the individual's point of view, and then I guess the benefits of the business. Yeah, so I think what we're seeing a lot more now of is work-life balance, and many people can argue that like the future of work really is going to be more uh, contracting style engagements where, right. you know, where we use our, we're leveraging our skills, not our title. Yeah. To get, so basically, that's kind of the the idea of the future. And in many ways, you can see that transition happening now. When people are much more efficient and can do the things that they're trying to do, they can take more time off for themselves. Right. right. So um, that's the interesting thing about that's being. That's a critical point. They start living again, right? Start living again. So yeah, yeah. you can work less hard to make, say, more better money, yeah, yeah. and that's a better outcome for everybody. So now, before we wrap up, I'm really keen to get one last piece of insight. We're at um, IBM's uh, Think Australia. It's predominantly about quantum computing and machine learning and business intelligence and AI and all kinds of exciting things, blockchain, artificial intelligence. Where are you using that in your project? Yeah, so in all of our projects, um, all of our projects uh, have something to do with data, right? So we don't ever start a project if there's no data. If there's no data, we go out and find that data. Um, we can uh, creatively acquire that data. Data has to exist for that sure. to happen. When you have that data and you apply kind of some modeling to it, and that's okay. Um, once you have the data and you provide modeling to it, what you've outputted is a, essentially a report. And reports don't right. make you money. Yep. Only execution makes you money, right? And that's where the machines go, right? Okay. Start yep. And this is kind of where the, uh, the relationship is with 
IBM. Right? Okay. So we're able to we're able to apply our approach, and our approach is essentially what differentiates us. Yes. Right. But then at the end, there needs to be a scale. Right? Yeah. So that's, that's where it's going to be a product, it's going to be a process. And I guess IBM is the perfect partner for that because they've got each of the pieces of the stack, right? They've got their cloud platform with infrastructure and platform and software service. They've got the Watson engine. They've got APIs.